The ongoing conflict in Ukraine, which has escalated dramatically with Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014 and the subsequent war in the Donbass region, has not just reshaped Ukraine's geopolitical landscape, but has also had a significant economic benefit for the country. Now, whilst war typically brings devastation, this particular war has created opportunities for both individuals and the state to amass wealth for themselves. Now, this video seeks to explore the various actors in Ukraine navigating all the complexities of the war to amass wealth for themselves. Wars often lead to increased government spending, particularly in defense and security sectors. In Ukraine, the conflict has prompted a surge in military expenditures, supported by billions in foreign aid and military assistance from Western nations. This influx of funds has not only bolstered the military, but has also created a ripple effect throughout the economy, impacting various sectors in Ukraine. The defense industry in Ukraine has seen a significant uptick in demand. Companies involved in arms manufacturing, logistics and security services have benefited from government contracts and foreign investments. As the state seeks to modernize its military capabilities, domestic firms are being called upon to produce everything from small arms to advanced missile systems. With a certain military spending, a new class of defense contractors has emerged in Ukraine. These companies often have close ties with government officials and military leaders, allowing them to secure lucrative contracts. Some firms have been accused of corruption and mismanagement, raising concerns about how public funds are being utilized. For instance, reports have surfaced about inflated prices for military equipment and the diversion of funds intended for frontline troops. These practices not only enrich certain individuals, but also undermine the overall effectiveness of military operations. The lack of transparency in defense spending has led to calls for reform and accountability within the sector. In addition to legitimate business opportunities, the war has also given rise to a shadow economy. Various illicit activities have flourished amid the chaos. Including various illicit activities have flourished amid the chaos, including arms trafficking, smuggling, and corruption. Some individuals and groups have exploited the conflict to engage in illegal enterprises, amassing wealth at the expense of national security. The presence of numerous paramilitary groups and armed factions complicates this landscape. Some factions have been accused of engaging in extortion and racketeering, further entrenching the culture of corruption. This shadow economy not only undermines the state authority, but also poses significant challenges to post-recovery war efforts. Interestingly, the influx of humanitarian aid has also created opportunities for wealth accumulation. Various non-governmental organizations, NGOs, and private private entities involved in delivering aid have sometimes faced criticisms from the operations. In some cases, aid distribution has been mad by inefficiencies or allegations of misappropriation, leading to questions about who truly benefits from these resources. While many NGOs operate with genuine intentions to help those affected by the conflicts, others may exploit the situation for profits. The competition for funding and resources can lead to practices that prioritize financial gain over humanitarian needs. Since the onset of the conflict with Russia in 2014, the Ukrainian government and its armed forces have received substantial international support, amounting to billions of dollars. This assistance has come in various forms, including financial aid, military equipment, training, and intelligence sharing. The impact of this support has been profound, shaping Ukraine's military capabilities and bolstering its resilience in the face of ongoing aggression. When Russia annexed Premier in 2014, Ukraine found itself in a precarious position. The armed forces were underfunded, poorly equipped, and unprepared for the scale of conflicts that erupted in the Donbass region. In response to this crisis, Western nations recognized the need to support Ukraine not only as a strategic partner, but also as a bulwark against Russian expansionism. The U.S. will obviously have capitalized on the war to perhaps settle scores with Russia over supremacy issues has been one of the largest contributors to Ukraine's defense efforts. The U.S. have consistently welcomed any form of request from Ukraine in their fight against Russia. 
since 2014, it has provided over 64.1 billion US dollars in security assistance, which includes lethal aids such as anti tank missiles, small arms, tactical drones, armed vehicles, artillery systems, and advanced communication equipment. The UK has committed 12.8 billion pounds in total, 7.8 billion pounds in military support, and 5 billion pounds in non military support. Germany, Canada, and many EU member state countries have all contributed largely to support Ukraine. Question is, where is the money really going to? As Zelensky and his country Ukraine, just like Oliver Twist, keeps asking for more aid. Now, despite these advancements in Ukraine's military force, the challenges remain. Corruption within the defense sector has been a persistent issue, leading to calls for greater transparency and accountability in how aid, be it cash or kind, are equitably utilized. The billions of dollars in support received by the Ukrainian government and armed forces have significantly altered the landscape of the conflict with Russia. The aid reserved without equitable distribution raises lots of questions. For the ordinary Ukrainian, the war has had devastating consequences. While some individuals and businesses have found ways to profit from the conflict, many others are struggling to survive amid economic instability and displacements. The war has led to a humanitarian crisis with millions displaced, countless families facing poverty and hardship. Indeed, the disparity between those benefiting from the war and those suffering from its consequences highlights a troubling reality. As Ukraine continues to confront its challenges, understanding the dynamics of wealth accumulation amidst war is crucial in fostering a more equitable post-conflict recovery, addressing corruption, improving governance, and ensuring that all resources are directed towards rebuilding the country rather than enriching the lives of some selected few are essential steps in ensuring a more stable prosperous future for all Ukrainians.